things you should know about Netherlands. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. I'm coming to you all the way from Brisbane, Queensland in Australia, the land from down under, and I'm wanting to learn all things about the Netherlands. This video was suggested to me by one of my members on Discord. Shout out to Peter J. We're looking forward to getting back into the content, learning about the Netherlands, so let's roll. Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you the most special things about the Netherlands. In my opinion, those are the most interesting things and this is why the country is so beautiful. Okay. I'm not going to make this intro any longer, so let's start. That's cool. Oh, how did he do that? I don't know, but look at this. This is so beautiful. The old buildings, the colours, the bikes, I love it. Special things about Netherlands. The Heineken. <laughs> Oh, the cheese, cheese is a big part of the Netherlands, oh. and this is the biggest cheese market in the world. Oh, this wow. cheese market started more than 700 years ago, 700 and until years today, ago. they still transport the cheese to the market using small boats. Oh, okay, that is cool. Can I deliver that to your house? Oh, I bet the you they do. The cheese carrier wearing white, running around carrying heavy weight. Each wheel of cheese weighing around 13 kilo and the total weight is 130 what? kilos. They make it look easy, but it's not. 13 kilos per cheese wheel. Oh mate, we love eating this cheese. This is the local Blocks cheese, cheese store in my city. You can find all varieties of cheese in it. So oh. I will buy my favorite cheese and go back home. Okay. All right. How long does a big block of those cheese last in the fridge? I need to know, guys. In the comments, let me know. My gosh. That's a lot of cheese, mate. Do you make toasties? We love toasties here in Australia. Ham, cheese, tomato, toasties. Our favourite. What are you cooking here, mate? So now you know that Dutch cheese is delicious. The only downside for me is that I like it, so I eat a lot and I have to be careful not to gain weight. But to prove to yeah. you it's a very good <laughs> cheese, here's me number two to tell you about it. Thanks me number one, that's absolutely true. What's going Dutch on here? Is fantastic. So if someone tell you Swiss cheese or French cheese, they don't know what they are talking about. Dutch cheese is the best. Can I have some cheese? No, this Dutch is mine. Dutch cheese is the best. India. I'm never gonna help you again. Stingy. I don't this is all mine. <laughs> gosh that reminds me of a stereotype in one of the recent videos i just did dutch comparing the dutch you guys say that you're stingy that you're cheap and you don't want to share that was his cheese he didn't want to share it he wanted it all for himself <laughs> mate in australia we love cheese so i do get it mate you jump up you cut yourself some cheese and crackers, you take it and you sit down, and then all of a sudden everyone's just grabbing your cheese and your crackers and you've got to get up and go back and cut it all again. Mate, I feel your pain. I do. This is so cool. I love this video. The guys in the canal. Mate, do you order cheese and they just drop it off in front of your house? That would be so cool, man. It's like Uber Eats canal style. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let's keep on going. Books. I love old books, man. People here oh. love reading. Yeah. You can find free books all around the city. Oh. You can find books in front of houses. No way. People build special cabinets for the books. You just swap them? It's available all the time in every neighborhood. Oh. Which is a very unique idea in my opinion. We had stuff like that during COVID, but yeah, you just don't see it much anymore. Honestly, you can't trust people not to bring them back. This is such a cool idea. I love it so much. Oh, wow. Just beautiful. And the grass, the grass is so green and it goes forever. Oh, mate. Here in Queensland, you don't Even in see the middle green of grass. Nowhere near the beautiful nature, you can find books. So if you went out to get some fresh air, oh. you can relax here and read the book if you like, or take it home with you. Mate, like I said, you don't see green grass these days. You just see new housing Ducks here areas across the coming street, up. and they don't care about cars. Yeah, they don't care about anybody. Oh. They make cars wait, and wait, and wait. 
That is such a beautiful story about the darks, man. Oh my God, just a couple of weeks ago, it was really, really early, about half past five, I was walking to the bus stop and a family of ducks, you know, the mummy duck and like eight or nine ducks were crossing the road, mate. I ran out into the road and I went like, stop like this to stop the cars from going so the ducks could cross the road, mate. You really, you see ducks crossing the road all the time and mate, you need to stop for them because they're with their families, they're with their little babies and they are so beautiful. Oh, look at them. Sometimes they cross like crazy. They're big ducks too. White ducks. I, we don't and see white ducks. sometimes they cross nicely. Yeah. We only see dark colored ducks. I don't see a lot of white ducks. So beautiful. There's like 20 there. But they oh. always make scars wait. <laughs> you make him wait, little fella. Make him wait. So cute. Sending postcard is something they do a lot. Really? And today is my birthday and my neighbor always remembered to send me a postcard on my birthday and the oh. chocolate. I'm going to read the postcard and put it aside and take care of the chocolate. <laughs> Take care of the chocolate. To throw the oh. trash, you need a special card for it. It opens the pin. <gasps> Do you have to pay for that card? Oh, that's interesting. And the trash goes under the ground. Ah. Okay, all right. Let's pause and chat about that. Is this everywhere in the Netherlands or is this like in different council areas, different provinces? Do you have to pay for that? So we have the bins collected once a week, the recycling collected once every two weeks, and you have to pay for them in your rates, in your council fees. So yeah, guys, in the comments, let me know about this because this is very, very interesting. And he said it goes directly underground into some sort of, you know, underground dump or something. Not quite too sure. In the comments, let me know. I am loving this video and I'm finding out things that are very, very interesting. So yes, well done. This is a cool video. Oh, the postcards. How cool is that? When was the last time you got a postcard? Or like, you know, even a Christmas card. Even Christmas cards are like a thing of the past. They're all digital and stuff like that. So yeah, getting a handwritten note or a letter is really, really cool. It's sweet. And yeah, it's something that you just don't see much these days. So I really do like that. Oh, I love this footage. This is so beautiful. When spring comes, it brings all colors to the city. I bet you it does. Tulips! I love your tulip gardens. Oh my gosh. And flowers grows everywhere. Oh. In the streets, in the parks, you name it. We just don't have stuff like this here. It's all new housing and that's Even it, Even a mate. flower managed to grow under the door in my oh. house. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Like we have parks, dog parks, you know, skate parks, bicycle parks, but Beautiful flower gardens like this? Nah, you're not gonna see them, mate. Not unless you go to like the botanical gardens or something. So this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. And it's very nice to have a picnic by the flowers. You reckon? Oh. Oh. Houses <gasps> here are so colorful. Oh my gosh, look at all those beautiful, colorful houses. Oh. And they've all got canals, man. There's like a boat in front of every house. You guys can just tie your boat there and off you go. Go to the cheese markets, pick up some cheese. Oh, <laughs> and look at all the different colors. I love it. They look like the colors of tulips. Is that why? Oh, mate, it's just so beautiful. And there's even solar panels on them, which is really, really cool. So special looking, so unique. I know, unique and beautiful. It's an architectural masterpiece. Absolutely. Oh. oh. 
I have done a video about the architecture in the Netherlands, guys. Check it out. It's really cool. Oh, just beautiful. Stunning. Look at the boats. Old, old school boats. Beautiful. Oh, what have we got here? I want to sit up on the little patio thing. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, where is this? Oh, Usually that hotel was beautiful. Are built for cars yes. to go on top of to pass the water. <laughs> but here it's the opposite. Yes. I've done a video on the bridges and how you guys had to construct the everything. Ships really goes cool. on top of the bridge. Yes. And cars goes under. You just don't see that. That's just incredible, isn't it? Absolutely there incredible. There is water everywhere. You can even park your boat in front of your house. <laughs> and everybody knows it. the famous canals that goes all around the city. Yes. Oh, okay. The canals. Oh my gosh. How cool would it be just to get up, jump in a boat and just cruise around the canals? Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can't afford to do that here, mate. <laughs> no way. It is just beautiful. You're cruising along in the canals and you're seeing all those beautiful houses, all the old buildings, all the beautiful flower gardens. Oh my gosh, I love the Netherlands. I am so jealous. It is such a beautiful country. <laughs> here this we go. This is a famous coffee shop. And unfortunately, they don't sell coffee in it. It's a weed store. <laughs> the coffee shops that sell weed, weed. here is legal. Yes. And they sell a lot of products. What do we got here? Weed, weed, weed. oils, capsules, but tablets. But sometimes people get caught growing weed in their houses, and then they are in trouble. So you're in trouble. So you can't grow it. You need a license or something. Oh, these are this cool. This is going to be the longest part of the video because there's a lot to talk about here. Yes. This is one of many bike parking garages. Yeah. They are so cool. I'll I've done a video on ride these. Around the city. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Amazing. I'm in awe of this. I love it. Oh. Just have a go at it, mate. How many bikes are in this bike garage here? Bikes Thousands. are very important in daily life here. Yeah. It's the main way of transportation mm -hmm. and everybody uses them. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And all year round? What about when it's cold? When it's really, really cold? Does it snow there in the Netherlands at winter? Peter J, Gerben, let me know. There are traffic lights specially for traffic bikes. Traffic lights! When it turns for green, bikes. it becomes a chaos. So if you are not expert with cycling, you have to be really careful. <laughs> Traffic lights for bikes and it all goes green in every direction at the same time. Oh, I love that. And helmets. You guys don't have helmets. I think I've asked this before, but I can't remember. Are you legally required to cycle and wear a helmet? In Australia, mate, if you're caught riding a bike without a helmet, you are fined. That's just how it goes, mate. Even a push bike. So yeah, in Australia, you cannot do that. The police will fine you. Oh my gosh, I love traffic lights for bikes. Just for bikes. That is so cool. I love this video. This is such a cool video. Cheers, Peter J, for this. I love it. I'm so excited. My heart is so happy. I'm learning so much. Let's keep on going. Let's roll. What's happening with this bridge? Open every once in a while in a day, usually for around two minutes each time. Okay. Oh, for little boats and stuff. Oh, mate, she's like straight up there, eh? Oh. Beautiful old boats, man. But that two minutes is enough to make bikes accumulate like it's the beginning of the marathon. <laughs> yes, that's crazy. Only two minutes and there's like 200 bikes. <laughs> 
so cool, man. So cool! <laughs> the bike path even goes under houses. What? How old are these houses? Did that used to be like a carport, maybe? I don't know. It could have been. And bikes use the roundabout, sharing it with cars. Yeah. You guys have roundabouts too? Nice. We have roundabouts here in Australia. They're good, mate. They make sense and they save lives, don't they? And finally, there's a special bike. So even if you wanted to move furniture, <laughs> you can <laughs> use it. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool was that bike? It's a cargo pedal bike. It's got something built on it so you can, you know, put your groceries and stuff in it. <laughs> even a kitchen sink, maybe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this video so much. I learned so much about the Nevalons. It was a great suggestion. Just had so much fun. That was the video for today, guys. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, guys, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.